Hey guys, Toxic John back again. Um, today we're going to look at a device. This is going to be a device review. The Vemesto K-Fun 3.1. This is the Gamma finish, the brushed finish. Um, this is an atomizer, a rebuildable atomizer tank system. It's um, got a lot of good, a lot of things run, working for it to its advantage. Um, it's a silica rebuildable. Um, Similar to the Mister, similar to the Odysseus, similar to the Ithaca, in certain ways. This thing has a lot of cool features. Um, I think they're available at a few different places, like um, Svimesto.ru. Um, they're available at Vape Rev. They're available at Intaste.de. They're also available at Cloud9 Vaping. Since I'm an American and our American distributor is VapeRev. The price that they have listed is $175 as retail <clears throat> on these devices. Um, it's a pretty good deal. Definitely worth the money. In my opinion, definitely worth the money. I have multiple of these and they were great. So, if you give me a second, I'll um, go through a few of the features, take a couple of vapes. Um, we'll definitely get down to the desktop and break this thing down, wrap up a coil, and we'll check it out. Um, it's a 22 millimeter mod, or device. Um, fits on all 22 millimeter mods. Let's take a vape. Damn, this thing vapes great. Um, they do have a light version that just came out. It's a little bit shorter, a little bit sl smaller, I guess. Um, basically, there it is. This is a really nice, cool little um, thing. Everybody loves them. Um, they're pretty easy to get. If you know where to go, there's like five distributors and they come in stock regularly. Um, Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and go down to the desktop and we'll check it out. All right, guys, here we are. We're down at the desktop. Um, got all the parts and the pieces here. This is gonna be um, the beta finish. It's like a media blasted finish. Obviously, first we got the top cap. We got the tank section. We got this inner cone here. Got this other intersection, just a tube. This is the base. This is the most important part, pretty much. This is where you build your coil. Has a square deck, a couple screws. If you notice, um, if I try to get in here a little bit, um, this thing is um, pretty well machined. Now, it does have, okay, there's some focus. Okay, it does have some. Um, little grooves cut into the sides. This is for where the juice feeds. This is a very in-depth system they got going on here. This is where the juice comes in to the tank because this is where you fill the juice in. Here's your air hole right here. This is your airflow adjustment. Now obviously this is not a 510 connection. This is this part here is the 510 connection and it screws right in like this so you just screw that on nice and tight then you got your center post which is this piece you just go ahead and this just fits right in there you screw it down into place
kind of like so. Just use my little screwdriver and give it a little tighten. Okay, so now this is all tight, tightened up. And there's your coil deck, if you want to call it that. Air hole right in the center. This is the positive. This is the negative. The thing I like about these screws is when you do go to tighten these down, they actually grab without spinning your coil all over the messing up your coil. They just kind of grab immediately. I don't know if it's because they're flat on the bottom there or or whatnot, but this is very well machined. They also have little slide holes on the sides in case you wanted to use those. I usually don't. The way I build it, I just don't do it like that. Basically, this one tube is going to go over this, like like so, once you've got your coil set up. And the juice is going to feed in these little teeny channels into there. Fill up that, those sides and, and saturate your wick. Feeding depends on really on how well you build your coil. Then you're going to get this um, funnel piece, which screws to the top of this thing. And bring it back a little bit so it's easier to see. Then you got your tank section. Your tank section just goes like right, like so. And then here's your top cap. And it works on vacuum. So once you get um, this all put together, you fill the juice in there, like kind of upside down. The juice flows in and it creates a vacuum, and that's what gives you the your juice flow. So let's go ahead and um, pop some of this stuff apart real quick. And I'll show you how I build my coil. Okay. So what I'm going to use to build this coil is a piece of two millimeter silica. You can use eco wool if you get it from the Russian site, which takes six weeks to America. They will give you some eco wool. I have some, but I'm not going to use some right now. I use it sparingly. What I'm going to do with this wick is I'm going to basically make a figure eight. Basically just make a little bit of a figure eight, bam. Just like that. A little too far in, sorry about that. Make a little figure eight. So you have three wicks, basically. Where your coil goes. I'm gonna go ahead and take, oh no. Wow, I'm gonna take my 30 gauge canthal. We'll go ahead and wrap this guy. I'm gonna do a 3-4 wrap, because that's where I like it. Clean that up a little bit, slide it over to and it's towards the center there. Now we got a 3 4 wrap. That was pretty simple. Got an ear on both sides. See that? A little bit of an ear on both sides. Just like so. Pretty clean. Okay, next I'm going to take the K Fun. I'm going to place this coil on the K-Fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. Pull that like so. Pull this lead over to here.
just like that. Go ahead and give that a tightening. See how I just tightened that down and it didn't even distort the coil at all, really? I'm going to spin this guy around. I'm going to um, position this where I want it. Kind of like that. Just like so. Tighten that side down. See there? Pretty cool. Check the bottom surface or where it, if it's touching, and it's not. It's gonna be good. Take my toenail clippers that I love to use all the time. Cut that end off. I don't do the whole Scott method where you just put pressure and twist. I just cut it like that. Bam. And there we go. There's a coil. There's a 3-4 wrap of 30 gauge canthal and 2 millimeter wick. And that's how I do it. Now, when I go to set this thing up, I am going to go ahead and do it this way. This is the way that I've found being the easiest way to do this. Now, what I kind of want to do is get these ears in these channels. It's kind of where I want them to lay when I get this top cap on. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them in right now. Put the wicks right on inside there. Bam! With my hand. I guess that's the only way you can do it with, with your hand. Then I'm going to take the cone. I'm just going to go ahead and try and fit all of this wick in there. Like, like so. See that? Now you want to make sure on these little edges right here. Let's see if I can get close up with that. You don't want any wick in these channels. You want it laying across the channels. It looks like I'm, I'm pretty in pretty good shape here. Um, actually, I do got some wick in this channel. Let me. And what I do when I get wick in this channel, I just kind of. Push it out of, this, out of the way with a screwdriver. And I just screw it right on. Like so. Okay. Back up a little bit here. Set this down. Grab my mod here. Okay, I'm gonna grab the mod. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this onto the mod. Get a fire. Okay, looks like it's firing pretty good. Okay, now I got a little bit of stuff sticking up. Go ahead and chop that off. Now it's nice and flat. There's the wick in there. Now, then, I'm going to take some juice. Yeah, you got to, uh, I'll, I'll explain this in a minute, but sometimes you got to use the taper tip. But I'm just going to go ahead and pour some juice onto the coil.
Give it another fire. No more juice. This is how I like to do it. You can use flat wire, you can use eco wool, whatever you want. Ooh, that smells good. A DIY. Now with this um, little, see how the wicks are right there and then the little things are right there. What this is here is gonna do, it's gonna pretty much push everything in further. If I can get this thing to thread. Jeez. Got it. Okay. So then you screw that on. And at this point, yeah, you can go ahead and um, sorry about that. At this point, you can go ahead and give it a vape just to see if it's burning or not. No, it's not burning. A little bit, but it's probably lack of juice. And that's basically it. Let me go ahead and lock this out real quick. Um, then you got your tank section. You're going to throw your tank section right on. It's a really easy build. Guys, I've done a lot of stuff. I've done Ithacas. I've done Odysseuses. I've done Divers, Killers, all those kinds of things. They're all harder than this. This is easy. Put your tank section on. Make sure everything's tight. It's pretty important that you make sure everything is tight. And take your top cap, throw that on. Make sure that's nice and snug. There you go. Now they have a they have a a drip tip for these. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here we go. All right, I found it. So they have a proprietary drip tip here, and. For purpose of the video, I guess we'll use it. Here it is here. It actually matches up very nicely. Mm. Although the mod I'm using doesn't really match up at all. But whatever. And then there's that. There's the proprietary drip tip. And that looks pretty cool. So, the way to fill this thing. You're going to tip it upside down. You're going to locate. There's your air hole. There's your airflow adjustment. You're going to locate this guy right here. You're going to take your bottle, you're going to go ahead and shove this tip kind of in a little bit to that thing. And then you're just going to give it a little bit of a squeeze and if you look into the tank you might be able to see juice flying in there or spraying in through that one hole that I showed you earlier. Yep, and it's filling up. Okay. Now, like I said, we've got a full tank now. Now, like I said, this there's a lot of ways to build this thing, but um, that's pretty much it. You, you got to prime it. You could wrap it easily like that. If you just do a S with one tail, I don't recommend that. It's not going to work out good. You can do the loops instead of the ears same kind of situation now you gotta like kind of take a few vapes on this thing and then once you do that um, you can tell if it needs more juice now what happens if with that is if it needs more juice off the bat just cover the air hole don't hit the button and just take a couple toots and it'll fill that center chamber with juice Yeah, I'll give it a few little dry toots like this right here. And we're all set. 
So let's go up to the. Let's go back up and we'll take a vape and we'll get out of here. All right, guys, back again, back from the desktop. We just uh, learned how to build a a K fun my way. Well, I can't say it's my way. Obviously, other people are doing it the same way. But I like the three four wrap with the thirty gauge. It gives me about. 0 0.6, 0 0.8, between there somewhere. Seems to vape really well. The flavor on these things is unmatched. Unmatched. I can't even explain how good the flavor is on these things, but this is another. This is the one I was vaping earlier, the brushed, with the uh, drip tip adapter that they send. Oh, and by the way, this is the drip tip adapter right here. It's just this thingy. Instead of the proprietary drip tip, you get this. Throw the drip tip on. Now, you guys notice I use this bottle here to um, fill my K-Fun up. You don't need to use that. There's a way to fill it up from the top. I'm definitely not an expert at that. That makes it leak. It floods. Um, there's a lot of pressure issues when you do that. There's a reason why they put that airflow there. That, that I mean that juice fill port there. So that every time you fill it, it's all perfect. Every time. And it works. It works really good. Um, let's take a couple vapes. Um, issue um, and we're back I was just vaping um, okay so what I'm gonna say is this the K fun 3.1 is definitely changed vaping for me at least I'm not a really big mesh guy I've done the Genesis all that I don't like it. I like silica. I like the taste of silica. I like to drip into silica. I like to do all that. This is the best flavor I've had in a vape since I've started vaping. Well, guys, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. My new subscribers, thank you very much. Um, I do have a newborn. Um, I don't, I'm, not, I'm trying to make as many videos as I can, but it's kind of hard. I got a lot of stuff on my plate right now. Um, I'm around. I'm on Facebook. Um, check me out. Jonathan Ryan on Facebook. I'm the Toxic John, and see you next time. Thanks.